Hey guys, and welcome once again to this channel. If you have been here and if you haven't, it is so kind of you to pass by. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you what is in my diaper bag. So if you follow me on, on Instagram, you know that I did this a few months ago and I meant to upload it here as well, but I was having some issues with my computer and my hard drive and I just never got around to doing it. And then now that I'm kind of trying to come back, I thought I would like um, post that video, but then some things have changed in my diaper bag because of course, as your baby grows, they have different needs. And so I thought I would just film it again. And so here I am today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to get through this really quickly. So if you want to see what's in this beautiful diaper bag, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the fun design diaper bag. As you can see, I'm not going to talk too much about this bag. Um, this is not a sponsored video or anything, but I do love this bag. It's pretty pricey, but it has been so worth it in my opinion. I used to have a Jujubee before and the like the shape of it, it just it just did not work out for me. The Jujubee has like a an opening that's kind of like in the front. And so whenever you would open the front part, like anything that was inside in the front would just kind of fall forward and just get out of the bag and I just did not like it. That one is also a pretty pricey bag. I was able to buy it used and I just, it was just not for me. So I ended up selling it for the exact same price that I bought it for and I got this one and I'm obsessed with it. That's all you have to know. Um, it's very well, very well worth the price. So um, let's just get through this as quick as we can. I'm literally in my PJs about to like get in bed and just watch TV for the night. So in the front pocket, I just have my mask because these are the times we live in now. And then I just have like a backup mask in here in case this one gets dirty or anything. I have two. I have another one inside actually, but that's what's in the front pocket. There is nothing here. But if I'm ever like at the supermarket or something, I could just put like my ID and my debit card in here or something like that. Yeah, there's nothing in there right now. Um, it also has two pockets on the sides. Here I just have my um, Carmex lip balm. If you've been following me for a while, you know that it, I'm obsessed with that stuff. And there is nothing here. And then in the back, you do have two other pockets. You have this big one here that you just open with this magnetic button there's nothing in there right now and then you have this one on the side these are great pockets for like your cell phone your ipad would fit in here um or any other tablet and maybe even like a small laptop um you have your backpack straps you have your handle to hang on like a door a hook anything like that and then you have your messenger strap I always know that I wanted a bag that had both the backpack and the messenger because when I'm wearing it for a long time, I like the backpack. But if I'm just like walking out of the house, getting into the car, um, I prefer the messenger. So um, I always know I wanted both of those things. Then it also has the stroller hooks. So these are not actually, um, they don't come with the bag. They come with like you can buy them separately of course but they come with the motherhood bundle which is how I got this back the motherhood the motherhood bundle includes the stroller hooks and then a little clutch with a changing pad and a diaper um, dispenser type of thing so then this is a bucket style bag which means it opens like a bucket because it opens from the front. I hope I'm not like too up close. So this is one of the things that comes with the motherhood bundle. They actually have now what they call, I think the ultimate motherhood bundle, which brings um, a passy pod and a bottle holder, which are super cute. Um, I kind of wish I had those, but honestly, Sophia was not, um, she was mostly breastfed. So I didn't really carry bottles with me and she never really got into the passy. I think we used them maybe for like the first two or three weeks and we just realized she just did not like it. So um, even though I wish I had them, just thought I could have like the whole bundle, um, I never really would have used them. 
maybe for the next baby whenever that happens so in this little clutch um, it comes with a handle so if I wanted to just like go out somewhere for like the night or something I could use this as a purse which is one of the things I like about like the whole bundle I could use this just like you know a little clutch to go out and then in here I have the wipes this is a very generous size wipe dispenser I can fit probably like a third or maybe even half of a um, diaper um, not diaper wipes pack then I have three diapers in here these are so cute we use hello bello we get their monthly box they are really really good and then it comes with the changing pad which I really like because it's so big here we go like compared to other changing pads that's like a really really nice size it covers um i would say most of like the public bathrooms changing tables i think it covers most of it and it's a really nice material if it gets dirty you can just wipe it off it's not like fabric where you have to wash it and then it has the same like gold metal details and it's just so pretty another thing i really like about this is that i can literally put it down and then open it or close it with just one hand as you can see because the fabric ones i think you kind of like need both hands and if you're holding a baby you know it gets kind of complicated so that's what's in here um i love that because if we're like at the super market or a restaurant or anything like that and i need to change your diaper i just take this out of the bag and then I go to the bathroom with it. I don't have to take the entire thing. So um, here's my wallet. <laughs> Again, this does not come with the thing, but I just wanted, you know, the whole thing. And so I bought their wallet as well. They have an updated version of this, which is, I think, a little bit like longer because um, dollar bills don't fit like open inside you have to fold them and so now they made it so that the, the the bills do fit completely open so yeah this is what their wallet looks like because i can be a little extra sometimes i also have their keychain this is what that looks like really pretty just have my house keys and the car keys and oh and i have a keychain my friend gave me i want to show her in case she watches this that i do use it <laughs> she gave it to me as a stocking stuffer for christmas um i don't think oh yeah we also have in here a little hand lotion and a hand sanitizer there are three hand sanitizers in here because we're still in the pandemic <laughs> so um yeah there's nothing else in there i'm going to take these three out but i won't show you until i show you um everything else that's in the bag um i do have a little um swaddle blanket down here i just have that in case we have to like cover her stroller maybe or if she gets like a little bit cold or I, you know it's just for emergencies like i don't really carry a blanket with me we have a blanket in the car but i don't carry a blanket in this bag so that's just as as a precaution i guess um in this pocket i just have some gum and some tissues that's it this has tons of pockets which is so cool in here i just have some bookie wipes um i have like a travel size one that i think i got for free at some point and then like the regular one i also have in here some doggy bags <laughs> because if she has a dirty diaper anywhere I'd rather put it like in the bag and then throw it in the garbage that way um the entire bathroom doesn't smell or even if i have to like keep it here until we get home or something like that or until i find a trash can then i really like that it also works if we have like dirty clothes or anything like that i can just put them in that bag i have a little um first aid kit in here we have never had to use it but it's good to have it and then on this side i have my things which really just means some tampons and one pad and then there's one more pocket on this side and i have two other hand sanitizers for no reason at all and then a little stain remover pen and i think that's all that's in the bag 
um, aside from the small baggies that I'm going to show you, um, everything that um, I'm going to be linking on my bio. Um, I'm going to put the link for this bag and then I'll also put the links for these bags, which I got on Amazon. So we're going to get into them now. I used to have four. And the last time I made this video, there were four bags. One of them had like a few toys, but she has really outgrown them. Um, honestly, whenever we're out, she's not really the type of baby who wants to be entertained with toys. She just wants to look around and just socialize and touch things and just chat and walk around. And so I just took away the toy bag because she just, I mean, we were not really touching it at all. So I took it away. Let's start with this bag. This is the emergency clothing bag. So in here, we just have an outfit, exactly what you would expect. Just some leggings and a matching top and some socks. Um, a little matching bow because we are extra like that. And then this little, this is like a burp cloth. Obviously, we don't use it as a burp cloth anymore. But I just thought it would be nice to have it in case, I don't know, I don't have to wipe anything. Maybe we were at the supermarket and the carts are wet um, for anything like that, you know. And then these little books. She loves these. We actually have been buying them. These are like from the Chick-fil-A Kids Meal. And we actually have started seeing them at TJ Maxx. And we started buying them like the big sizes. They are so cute. We all love them. So yeah, I just have two of those in there. Just in case. That's all that's in that bag. Um, let me try to keep things together. Then we have the food bag so i think this has the most changes that i have made in the entire diaper bag just because she is bigger she eats way more than before and i just never want to be without food there are days that we just have to go out of the house really early on saturdays or anything like that and i just want to have enough options for her um in case she like needs a breakfast meal and then a snack or anything like that. I don't know. I just want to have options for her. First thing in here is this little pack for racing. She loves raisins. Then we have cheddar bunnies. These are Annie's. She loves those. Of course, I have a little juice box. This one is from Aldi. Aldi has like really good options for children's food. Like they have the pouches and they have um those like yogurt melts and um, the little cheddar puffs uh, they just have a lot of options and they're all like organic and natural and they're really really affordable so um, i also have one of their pouches here i mentioned this in my the last time i filmed this video for instagram um this is what i would use as like a breakfast replacement or something like that because it has like yogurt so it's like a little heavier you know what i mean they also have a few that come with like rice and they're just really good to have you know um we also have in here this container i'm gonna open it in a minute and her water bottle these actually match they're like the same skip hop thing this comes in a pack of three they're really nice uh, we always have water and then here i won't even take it out but i have one of those like plastic bibs that you can just wipe and then some utensils and i had a few leftover um, breast milk bags so i just put them there um so i just wanted to keep them separate you know so oh yeah and then in this container we i think i mostly have um like dry food i'm struggling hold on Okay, I had to use both hands for that, but I just have some um, dry cranberries, um, apricots, and pineapple. Yeah, so she loves these, and I also love them for her because she's getting fruits, but um, it's not going bad in the bag, you know what I mean? So, love to have that, and then in the last bag, it's like the personal... Um, what would you call this like the medicines and the products 
all that type of stuff. So we have in here this hairbrush. Um, sorry, I got a text and I was reading it. We have this hairbrush and a hair tie, which also matches the outfit. It's navy. Um, yeah, she has very wild curly hair. So um, there's my extra extra mask the third mask in this bag i have some buff spray which i don't need right now but um yeah if we like start going to the playground soon which by the way i do have to buy an extra sunscreen to put in here because hopefully spring and summer are coming soon it's only february but you know i'm hopeful that i have here these travel size all of um, these travel size body wash and lotion. I got this for free forever ago. I should probably just use them and then put something else in there because I've had them for the longest. I have more of those doggy bags. These are the ones that I used to buy in the beginning because this is like the Ubi brand. Um, it's the same brand as our like diaper pail, and it's really good, but it's so pricey compared to like just doggy bags, and they're the exact same thing. So, but I do still have some leftovers, so I just have it in here. And I have some extra doggy bags that you can just put in the dispenser. Um, some Passy wipes. She, like I said, she wasn't really into Passies, but these are still great to like wipe a utensil if it gets dirty, or even like wipe um the straw from this if it gets dirty, anything like that. Even just like her mouth or anything. Um, then I have some teething medication camellia this is uh, the best and i also have these samples of um saline solution we've used two of them it was like a pack of five there's one more in there somewhere and then lastly we have a little travel size aquaphor baby this stuff is uh, the best when they have like um dry skin or anything like that um, that is everything that's in there, but I did I did just bring these two items to include them in this bag. This is a diaper rash cream um, because I realized that I had taken out the one that used to be in here. So I just brought this one and then this little um, leave-in um, hair conditioner because like I said, her hair is pretty wild and curly and it has gotten kind of long. So I figured if I have a hairbrush, I need something to make her hair smooth. So I just put this little hair sample in here. So yeah, that's going to be everything that's in this bag. Like I said, I do have to include a um, sunscreen in here for our part days and all of that. But that is it. That's everything that's in this bag. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and um, let me know in the comments what other like baby related mommy related or any other videos you would like to see thanks for watching bye